these days we receive with many phone calls many sms many whatsapp message many emails to our office and the people from different parts of india from mangalore goa bangalore and delhi calcutta from different parts of india they were sending these messages you know what they say brother mario uh, we said many days novena to saint anthony but our prayers are not heard we said novena to our lady under of knots 33 days 33 times but our prayers are not answered we memorized many bible verses as you said but nothing happened in our life and we go for holy mass every day and pray but nothing is changing we need lot of blessing but the blessings are not in our way we don't know why what is the hindrance and what is the block can you tell us can you pray for us this are, you know these are the uh, worried people's messages and they are literally worried and upset in their life they say that we need an apartment to stay but we don't have we need a vehicle to travel but we don't have uh, we need a visa to settle in abroad but we don't we are unable we need to find out a life partner or we need to get children you know they need some blessings but they are not able to get they said lot of prayer you know they watch brother mario's youtube channel and they watch divine uk channel then they watch bangalore logos channel then they watch goodness channel they keep on watching different channels and they are keep on calling different people and they are keep on sending messages to different people saying the same thing and now they are asking me can you tell us why god is not listening our prayer when brother mario prays god is hearing and you are blessed but what about us we are children of god but we are praying and not getting any answer can you tell me what to do now i want to tell you something very very important my brothers and sisters this is really very important because there are nine reasons according to bible why god is not listening your prayer there are nine specific reasons for not getting answer for your prayer Number 1 we read that in Isaiah chapter 59 verses 1 and 2 Isaiah please make the note because this is something very important take the note Isaiah 59 1 and 2 Surely the arm of the Lord is not too short to save nor his ear too dull to hear but your iniquities have separated you from your God your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear what is the first reason unconfessed sin you may be saying many rosaries every day you may be saying many novenas you may be saying sacred heart novena and you may be saying novena to our lady and over of knots you may be saying novena to saint anthony you may be candling many candles and you may be visiting many shrines but let me tell you if you have unconfessed sin in you god is not going to listen your prayer according to bible he will turn his face away from you because there is unconfessed sin so when you are listening to me my brothers and sisters here you have the opportunity to go for confession and suppose if you are listening to me online from somewhere abroad make sure that near your apartment or near your residence so find out a catholic priest go and kneel down and confess every sins of yours if you know that you have made some mistakes you have committed some sin go and confess many times catholic people uh, they confess their uh, crimes but they don't confess their sin you know what's the difference between sin and crime that is something very important my sister you see if i think to deceive someone i only thought to deceive that is already sin but if i deceived then it is crime if i think to commit adultery that is already sin my thought to commit adultery is a sin but if i commit adultery yeah, then that is crime so many time you and i we go and confess the crime the sin what already we have committed but the sin what is there in our mind we don't confess so my brothers and sisters as you are listening to me right now what you have to do you go and confess the evil thought which is in you because we read in james st james you know what in 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 his letter he says 
uh, when the evil thought conceives that brings for brings forth the sin evil thought conceives and that brings forth the sin so if there is any evil thoughts in you go and confess kneel down in front of a catholic priest and share your thoughts the bad thoughts because if you keep the bad thoughts the bad thought will make you to act on it after the acting you go and confess there is no point of confessing after the acting because action is already done it is always better to abort this thought when you get evil thoughts so if you have an unconfessed sin no point of saying novenas and waiting for the answer just go and confess first and begin to say the novena second the second reason why god is not listening your prayer we read that in mark chapter 11 verses 25 mark 11:25 and when you stand in prayer if you hold anything against anyone forgive him so that your father in heaven may forgive your sins second is unforgiving spirit if there is any unforgiveness in you my sister my brother maybe the unforgiveness to your parents or your in-laws your siblings or, or your sister-in-laws remember the the unforgiveness may be to your boss or your colleague or your children or your aunt and uncle it can be to an advocate or an rickshaw driver it can be to a catholic sister or a priest whatever it may be if you have unforgiveness if you know that you are unable to forgive someone because they hurt you it is not your mistake it is purely their mistake it is their sin but still you are holding that sin you are not forgiving you are not let them free you know what happens god says that he will not listen your prayer that's something very important many times when we think uh, we justify ourselves we did not commit any mistake it is that person i didn't do anything wrong she he or they uh, why should i forgive no my brothers and sisters if you do not forgive to them even if it is their mistakes that in laws mistakes if you do not forgive to them god is not going to listen your prayer you may be saying all this novenas you may be saying all these prayers but nothing will work out you will waste your time so please forgive to the people who hurt you and the third very important we read that in james chapter 1 verses 6 to 8 james chapter 1 verses 6 to 8 but when he asks he must believe and not doubt because he who doubts is like wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind that that man should not think he will receive anything from the lord he is double minded man unstable in all he does an unbelieving heart so my brothers and sisters many times when we sit and pray we know that the god is not going to answer our prayer and still we pray unbelieving prayer that is very dangerous prayer you know according to bible we read you know uh, zachariah and elizabeth they were very old they were not having children one find that the angel came to zachariah saying that you will have a child in fact zachariah was praying from the chapel lord bless me with a child lord bless me with a child the angel appear and said you will have a child then he asked how it is possible because i don't know any man he doubted so he was praying in his doubt zachariah was praying lord give me a child but in his mind the thought is i am very old my wife is very old and how it is possible but still he prayed lord bless me with a child Uh, this is a prayer of unbelief and there god you know what god did god said to zachariah because you disbelieved what god said you will never be able to speak until you get a child he, you know he was kept mom so my brothers and sisters the prayer without belief is a sin it's not only that you will not get the answer it is like you are fooling your almighty god so my brothers and sisters when you are praying you must believe 100% sure the assurance should be there that i am going to ask my father the creator of this universe so definitely he will answer 
बिकॉज माई फादर ही सेंड हिज ओनली सन टू बी ए सेक्रीफाइस ऑन द क्रॉस फॉर माई सेक इफ ही सेंड हिज ओनली सन वॉट एल्स ही विल नॉट गिव so i have the right to ask and if i ask he will give me that assurance is important when you are praying many times we are praying in doubt that's why we are not getting answer the fourth point again very important one that one we read in james chapter 4 verse 3 again from the same book james chapter 4 verse 3 when you ask you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasure many times you pray my brother and my sister you say the novena you say the rosary you say sacred heart novena you say mary and door of novena and you say divine mercy chaplet you you go for holy mass and you say many prayers you are not getting answer you know why you are praying for the wrong things thinking that it is good for you I repeat you are praying for the wrong things thinking that it is good for you but almighty god knows that is bad for you because he is all knowing and he is all pervading and he knows everything in this universe I still remember immediately after my marriage my prayer was to get a small property and 500 square feet house in Nagarkovil and i prayed many times god did not answer that prayer if he answered if he would have answered that prayer those days i would have been a barber in an old age home even today thank god he did not give me the answer for that prayer now i have two or three houses he blessed me in abundance the reason is that he did not heard that prayer thank you lord you did not heard that small prayer of mine many times you pray and you don't get the answer because god knows that is not what you want see only god knows the plan about you what what, what you need to have what you need to be tomorrow you don't know we have our own plan from the limited mind but god is unlimited and his plan is everlasting and it is so powerful so my brothers and sisters sometime when you don't get the answer for your prayer don't worry god kept something greater than what you asked for and the fifth thing or the fifth point why god is not listening your prayer we read that in first peter chapter 3 verse 7 first peter chapter 3 verse 7 this is again very important please take the note this is something very important husbands in the same way be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers an alienated marriage relationship my brother if you have any misunderstanding with your wife if you have some grudges to your wife your prayers will not be answered and my sister if you have any anger towards your husband if you have any revenge towards your husband and if you are not talking to him or if you are deceiving him if you are cheating him you may be praying and praying and praying but god is not going to listen you may justify yourself saying that my husband is a drunker my husband is a smoker my husband is a womanizer that's why i have all this grudges but i'll tell you you don't think about his sin that is between him and god you are here to love him to love him to pray for him and to give consent to him and to forgive him if you do all these things god will listen your prayer and you will get the answer so having a good relationship between spouses is very important to get the answer for the prayer Uh, the next point is again more important you need the wisdom of the lord to understand this point you know without the wisdom from above you won't understand romans chapter 9 verses 15 and 16 romans chapter 9 verses 15 and 16 i will have mercy on whom i have mercy and i will have compassion on whom i have compassion it is not therefore depend on man's desire or effort but god's mercy you know the blessing on some people is not depend on people's merit 
it is not because i am good person god is blessing me it is just because god is so gracious and merciful so that he is giving me mercy or he is blessing me with all what i need this is something very important i still remember one of my friend an evangelist came to me to meet me and he said there are two types of people whom i know i said what one group they hold on god they keep on praying crying lamenting and saying rosary many rosary a day reading lord of time you know they read bible a lot they read all the prayer books and they attend three four mass a day they hold on god but still they are not blessed but there are some people whom god already hold they did not hold god god hold them and these people may do many mistakes in their life but still god blesses them. and that gentleman the evangelist said brother mario you are that it is that god called you that's why he taught you many languages that's why he opened the way for you to visit many countries that's why he opened the way to open philokalia foundation an international ngo that's why he brought you to pota and he gave you the training from there everything when this gentleman said that i said that's true it is not that i am holding god god holds me and i cannot escape always he guides me sometimes people think that because i am shrewd or i am i am intelligent i am doing all these things honestly speaking nothing is according to my plan from the heart i say nothing is according to my plan every morning when i get up i say lord i surrender this day unto your mighty hand guide me according to thy will and for his will for his kingdom i ask bless me with this so that i can do this charity to these people bless me with this so that i can go there and help those people and god hears the prayer and i am able to do that how many houses we built how many children we are giving education for how many children and we have ambulance services freely we have counseling centers freely in many places so lot of charity activities we are able to do it that is just because it is not for me i say for your kingdom bless me with this so that i can do this for your kingdom so again again i want to say the same thing people are blessed not because of their merit just because god is merciful so ask for the mercy of god then you will be blessed and the next point why god is not listening our prayer we read in james chapter 4 verse 6 i repeat james chapter 4 verse 6 god opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble if you have a proud heart an egoistic heart god is not going to listen your prayer if you ever think that i am better than someone i am greater than someone you may pray but god will not listen if you ever think that i am good prayerful person i am traditional catholic or i am uh, from the beginning onwards i am charismatic i am anointed one i have the other tongue and i have the visions if you ever think this kind of ego you know in you definitely god is not going to listen your prayer if you humble yourself he is going to hear your prayer and he is going to answer your prayer and you are going to be blessed with what you need and the last point what i want to say is from isaiah 55 verses 8 and 9 isaiah 55 8 and 9 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways declares the lord as the heaven are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than yours and my thoughts than your thoughts so the thoughts of god and our thoughts are totally different the ways of god our ways are different the time of god and our time are different so you must trust in his time in his ways in his thoughts if you are not getting answer for your prayer right now he is preparing something better for you my brother my sister only thing remove all these nine blocks and bondages from you you will be blessed in abandon